All right, baseball fans, welcome to the first installment of Race to the Pennant. I don't even like that name. We'll think of another name later. Anyway, welcome to the first installment of something we're going to do every Friday. We're going to talk about baseball all the way to the end of the Fall Classic, the World Series. Okay? So, I'm a Dodger fan. As you know, we're going to talk baseball. We might even throw a little bit of football in there. But right now, we're strictly talking Los Angeles Dodgers. We're going to talk about good news. We're going to talk about bad news. Okay? So, first of all, let's talk about the good news. Congratulations to Vince Scully. Uh, the other night, he threw out the first pitch. It was uh, Vince Scully bobblehead night. I don't know about you guys, but Vince Scully, when he was on the radio, seemed to have a little extra energy that night. Last night was awesome. It's too bad the Dodgers could not win the game, but way to go, Vince Scully. Glad you're back for another year. The bad news. We are four and a half games behind the Giants. At one time, the Giants were chasing us. There were like seven or eight games back. We were sailing. Things were good. And then all of a sudden, we just collapsed. All right? We're four and a half games back. That is not good. Here's the good news. Monday is $1 Dodger Dogs at Dodger Stadium. Here's the bad news. We've got some major power in the lineup. We've got... Kemp, Ethier, Ramirez, and now the addition to um, Adrian Gonzalez. These guys have some pop. They can hit the ball. The problem is they're not doing it. They're not. It's almost like the spirit of James Loney has come upon all of them, and all we hear over and over and over again is left on base, left on base. The Dodgers cannot do this any longer. Bad news, Chad Billingsley's arm. What, what's, what's with that? Now he's hurt. And then I just heard the other day that Jansen, our closer, I mean this guy was unstoppable. Is there something wrong with his heart? We're, we're going to be waiting for um, some type of news here, but there's something wrong with his heart. What is going on with, with it, it's just, are we cursed? Uh, do we have a curse? It's almost like it's like a Boston curse now. I hope not. It's funny how all the Boston players are coming our way, and we we have this curse. Did they bring the curse to L.A.? This is crazy. More bad news. We have a one, two, three game series in San Francisco. All right. Then we go to Arizona and play the Diamondbacks. Then we have a four-game series at home against the Cardinals. Guys, the Cardinals are, are, are also a wildcard team. Then we go to Washington. Now, at the beginning of the year, we held, we held our own against Washington. Um, these guys are on fire. Then we go on the road and play three games against the Reds. Those guys are on fire. Then we play the Padres, and then we come home and play the Rockies, okay, at home. Let's hope they didn't do, they're, they're not going to do to us and to understanding what they did to us in Colorado. And then the last three games in October are against the Giants. Guys, we, we have a huge mountain to climb. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Mark this down because this is my prediction for the Dodgers, okay? They are either going to, there's two things, they're either going to catch fire and catch the Giants and win the division, or, and I hate to say this, by September the 20th, we'll be seven games back and it'll be over. Okay. I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Now, the other thing too, you know, as we're as we're looking here, we got well well who do the Giants play? Okay. Maybe we can get a little help from some other teams. So let's look at the Giants schedule. They're gonna finish off in Chicago. Then they come home and they play the Diamondbacks. Let's hope the Diamondbacks do to them what they're doing to us now. 
Then they play the Dodgers at home. Then they go to the Rockies. Again, let's hope that the Rockies destroy them like they destroyed us. Then they go to the Diamondbacks, and then they come and play against the Rockies. So they're all West teams. And then they're at home against the Padres and the Diamondbacks. So they see the Diamondbacks twice. They see the, they see the Rockies twice. They see the Padres twice. They see us twice. So this is going to be very, very interesting. I am hoping, guys, that these teams that are beating us will beat them. Now, the other thing that we could be looking at is the wild card situation. If we were to go into the playoffs right now, it would be Cincinnati, Washington, and San Francisco. That's a really interesting matchup right there. Those would be the division winners. Then you have, in the wild card, Atlanta and St. Louis. After that, it's Pittsburgh and then us. Okay, we are one and a half games behind a wild card spot. Guys, we need to also pray that Atlanta loses, St. Louis loses, and Pittsburgh loses. I hate, I hate to have that mentality. we got to pray that other teams lose so that we can win. I rooted for James Loney for a long time. I thought he was going to do well. His first year he did good. His second year he did good. And his mechanics were a lot like A-Rod. And, and I was really excited you know, for him. And he was getting better. And now all of a sudden he started working with Kemp. And I thought, well, Kemp's going to turn him into a monster, you know, lifting weights and sucking down protein and running hard. And he was a wimp, you know. I mean, it's like, woohoo! James Loney went bowling for a charity. Yay, which is cool. Yay, James Loney visited some kids in the hospital. Yay, that's cool. But James Loney was like the guy that you work with, that his wife bakes great cookies and he brings cookies and he brings, like, good desserts and he buys for lunch. He's a really nice guy. But he doesn't do anything at work. He does absolutely nothing. But he's a great guy and his wife makes good cookies and he buys lunch. But he's not producing in the office. And that was James Loney. You know, really nice guy. I really liked him. But it was just time for him to go. So, with that said, guys, that wraps up this edition of We Gotta Think of a Name. Um, and we'll be back next Friday and talk to you more about baseball, especially the Los Angeles Dodgers and what's happening. Let's hope they win. Again, congratulations, Vince Scully. You are the man.